Hello, welcome to Executive Experience Center at Nokia headquarters in Espoo, Finland. My name is Päivi Kalske and I'm delighted to welcome you here today. Earth Day was two weeks ago, but the urgency to take climate action is with us every day. And that's the reason why we have here today Pia Tanskanen, who's heading Nokia Environment, and Harri Kuosa, who works in the zero emissions and 5G area. And I'd like to know what does 5G, which is on everybody's top of mind, and environment have to do with each other? Pia, would you like to explain that to me? Right, so uh, this is very interesting industry because to output what we do, data through the networks has been growing a lot uh, in recent years and it will continue, keep on continuing growing uh, with 5G. So the data is growing like this, but what I'm worried about from environmental point of view is the energy needed to run the operations going to grow at the same speed. Oh wow, well, if you think if the traffic will grow hundredfold and energy bill will be hundredfold, it will not be sustainable business, it will not work. Mm. The good news is that 5G is much more energy efficient compared to any other technology before. Uh, the fact is that in case our customers have 2G, 3G and 4G base station in sight and you add 5G, it will increase incrementally the energy consumption. There is no way to avoid it, but there is a way to compensate it. So the, if the existing equipment are modernized, the old equipment modernized, we are able to reduce the energy consumption considerably and even go to below the original level so we can compensate in full the 5G arrival. Right, I remember from our sustainability <coughs> report uh, there was a figure that uh, modernis modernized networks are 44 percent more energy efficient than the legacy ones. So it sounds like a really good thing to do. Why is not everybody doing it? It's a, it's a great business case. Uh, typically the payback time of modernization is two to three years and after that you can start to earn money. Right. Another thing that actually uh, makes me worried sometimes is that uh, why so much resources are being wasted nowadays. Mm. Networks they are on 24-7 and uh, do, even during the night time when I'm sleeping and I don't need connectivity. Yeah, yeah correct. The, the legacy networks, the old networks have been designed for maximum performance. So all the resources are active all the time. However, Nokia has invested lots of money on developing both the hardware and software in a such way that we are able to mute the resources in a low traffic. So in a way we can put the resources in the sleep. So when I'm sleeping, the network is sleeping. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's good because we as uh, Nokia have committed to science-based climate targets. And that's uh, to decrease our emissions uh, by 75% until 2030 mm -hmm. for the for the network's uh, operational energy consumption. It's uh, not only Nokia who needs to change, our customers are needed here as well. So what do you think? Are they interested? Yeah, correct. And our customers are increasingly interested. We have seen during the last two to three years, big change in the mindset. Our customers increasingly setting long-term targets. And it's true that we are all in the same boat. Everybody need to do their own share. So we are developing equipment. Our customers are buying that kind of equipment that they are also purchasing uh, carbon-free electricity to run the equipment. Right. So it's not only about the equipment, but also what kind of energy you are using to run the networks. Yeah, correct. The great example here, you can see the solar panels, they are affordable. Anybody can buy one or two panels. Any of our customers can buy panels to the network and they are not expensive. So everybody can do these small things. Yeah. yeah, often people anticipate that you need to cover all the energy needs by the solar power of solar panels and that's fairly expensive, but when you take one or two panels, it's affordable. Right. And every step counts. Every step counts. So that's, I agree totally. Uh, talking about bigger steps is uh, innovations like liquid cooling, the recent one we have actually right here. Uh, yes. It took six years from innovation to uh, become the first application in the commercial networks. Mm. Why so long? Yeah, many reasons. <laughs> of course, the, one of the biggest reasons maybe is that we make a big change, about 80% lower carbon dioxide emissions. It's a mm. big innovation. On the other hand, we are changing the ecosystem, and meaning that, that we are changing the way we are cooling the base stations. So it's a big change. We need to make the equipment designed so that it can be done, and our customers need to adapt to new type of cooling system. So it takes time. Six years is in our business is very short time. <laughs> right. 
but I'm, what I'm really actually excited about is the change that will come with the fourth industrial uh, revolution with 5G, everything being connected, new business model, models for sharing economy, circular economy, that will change how do we live as persons, how do we work, uh, how the other industries are uh, working. So uh, there's been some estimations that uh, the, when you compare the carbon footprint, the negative impact of ICT compared to the positive impact, the handprint, it's uh, tenfold the positive impact compared to the negative one. But I believe it 5G and the things that we can't even imagine at the moment, that the impact will be much bigger, the positive impact for. Yeah, correct. The us. 5G is the key component here when changing the, the world in a better place to live. It's ah, nice. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Pia. Thank you, Harry. 5G is both cool with liquid cooling and green. And I have to say, it makes me very proud to hear about Nokia's commitment uh, with the environment. If you'd like to hear more about Bias and Harris' thoughts about, uh, about the environment and, and our solutions and, and uh, zero emissions, please tap into nokia.com slash blog to read their latest blogs there. Uh, you can also tap into our sustainability report and of course follow us in social media across channels. And soon you'll be hearing back from us again in the next 5G in Action live update. Thank you so much for joining today. See you.